What's going on YouTube? Back at it. Again, we got the low C with us, the BBX LE 2.0. Um, this thing is running a Vitavon chassis, a uh, Vitavon center transmission, uh, XLX2 with an 800 kV motor. I think I'm running uh, a, uh, what do you call it, 22 tooth mod 1.5 pinion with the stock spur. We got the uh, Proline Badlands on there and DDM Springs, as well as um, Vitavon uh, hubs and knuckles. So let's get it going. Welcome back to the channel guys, I've not driven this in a while, so I do want to get the uh, Max 5 for it, the new uh, 800, I'm sorry, the Max 5 with the new uh, 12S system. That suck. So I was just checking the footage because uh, I'm using the uh, head mount again, making sure the car's in frame. So let's go. So when I do drive this RC, I do enjoy uh, driving it. My wife is over there in the, with, uh, with my daughter in the playground. So we just tried going to the lake because uh, our family's there and they have it blocked off because they're uh... uh oh did I break something That uh, center diff <clears throat> feels pretty loose. I might have to do some maintenance on it and taking up that oil. So I was saying, uh, we tried to go to the lake and they had it block blocked off and there were some cops there. Same, just did the same thing again. And, um, so we parked on the side of the road while we figured out what we were going to do. And while I waited for my wife to, to turn around, because we were in two, uh, we're in two separate vehicles, the uh, cop decides to pull me over because I was parked where I wasn't supposed to be parked. So, uh, you know, I kindly told him, I was just waiting for my wife to turn around so we could get going. And he says, and uh, he says, yeah, but you can't park there. I said, I was literally there for 30 seconds. And he says, yeah, it doesn't matter. So that kind of pissed me off. He gave me a ticket, 92 bucks. Of course, I'm gonna plead not guilty. Because I think he was being a little unfair. I'm the type of person that uh, owns his mistakes. And uh, 
I don't think that was fair on the cops part. If I would have been there for an hour, 30 minutes, even 10 minutes parked, I most likely would have said, you know what, you're right, I apologize, and wouldn't have cared. I still wouldn't have pled, I would have pled not guilty with the um, ticket, but still, it, I wouldn't have been so upset about it. So he was kind of a prick. So the low C seems to be running weird. I think it's dipping out. Um, it might have to do with that center uh, differential. It sounds horrible. There's definitely something wrong with it. Let me bring it in and check it. Mad bushes. bunch of crap stuck inside the wheel around the uh, DJI extender. I have two inch extenders on this. Yeah, I have to tune that center diff. It's too loose. It's stiffing out. It's bleeding all the power to the front wheels. You can hear it too. Like you can hear the motor uh, wind up and spin, but it doesn't match the uh, doesn't match the speed. Yeah, this thing is faster than than that. I also got the Outcast 8S and a couple um, 6S vehicles with me that I was gonna plan on rip at uh, planning on ripping at the lake, but putting it in so this thing is just loves flying through the air yep LVC or uh Thermal shutdown. That was weird. Let me check it. Nope. Nothing. 
connector is super hot. This one, this one more than that one. I think I got a cold solder on this side of the USB side because I just did the battery connectors. I got these uh, perfect paths on the battery end. Um, so I think that's part of why it just did that. We're at 29 volts. Trying to take all that grass off. Yeah, then it did it again. It's definitely a connection issue. You hear the fans? Fifteen. Yeah, this connector is wicked hot. Well. Oh. That's gonna do it guys. Uh, sorry for the short run. There's something going on with that connector there. Um, the one on the right is super hot. Well, it's a lot hotter than the one on the left, so I think there's a cold solder joint somewhere. And it's not uh, making contact the way it should. So I'm going to bring this back to the truck and grab another RC. So we'll be right back. So we just finished ripping the low C, but we had uh, technical difficulties with it. Uh, so now we have the Outcast 8S. We got the... Pro Lines MX57s on there. Later on bulkheads in the front and the rear. Max 5 with the 800 KV. And that's about it. We got knuckles from Vitavon in the front and stock in the rear. And then we have the Vitavon links front and rear. Um, and that's pretty much it. The only other uh, change is the springs these are x max springs so that's why i'm running these collars on them to get more tension so yep we're gonna rip this all right guys we got the outcast with us So yeah, I don't know what happened with the low C, but um, I mean, I do, but it worked fine for a while. Uh, maybe I just didn't do a really good soldering job when I put the connectors on it. Sometimes that happens. It's happened to me twice already, so that's probably what it is. Max 5, 1 to 1 gearing, uh, I think it's 39, 39. So many uh, dead weeds and grass over there. The cars pick it up every time it goes through it. 
But I'm glad they cut it, because it was really tall. Nice. Let's go up top. Let's do a sideways jump. like these uh, tires by Proline MX-57s. Uh, I have had two come unglued on me, but I just re-glued them and they're fine. <laughs> that was fun. That was like a backflip. Uh, one foot off the ground. So I don't know if you guys follow East Tactics, but his new uh, August jump challenge is to do a flip and twist, I think it's called. You gotta hit a ramp backwards and then twist the car so that it lands facing forward. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm not even gonna bother entering this month's competition. face. I hate that. LVC. All right, one last jump and then we'll wrap it up for this RC. Ouch. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the juice in it. I'm gonna just cut this back part completely off the body. I hate when it does that. Oh man, look at that. Oh, this body's practically new. Oops, I forgot I didn't put the body on.
all right guys well that's a wrap for the outcast and uh this video thanks for tuning in and watching i appreciate you guys um the outcast was uh doing fine um batteries are at 30.4 so i mean they still have a little bit of life in them i think that last jump i just did when i tried to do a backflip and it landed on its roof i was uh was pegged pegged out on the um what do you call it the trigger i didn't leave enough trigger for myself for the backflip so that's gonna do it guys uh thanks for tuning in please remember to subscribe hit that like ring that bell and all that beautiful stuff that you guys do um thanks for watching don't start see out